As you build out more state machines, there'll be times when you'll need to set initial values on your inputs. In this lesson, we'll see how to do that. To talk about that, we'll use this example. In this case, we've got three different animations. You can see them here on the left side. Now, each one of these animations takes the rectangle that's behind the number and changes the fill from the gray to the red. In the state machine, we've added each one of those animations as a node in the state machine, and all three of them are hooked to the entry state. So when our number value equals one, it'll go to our one animation, and when it's two, we'll go to the second animation, and three, we'll go to the third animation. Depending on the number value here, that'll dictate which animation we start in. Now, if we start our state machine now, we'll go to the first animation, and that's because the condition that we have set makes the uh, number one animation play. Now, if we stop the state machine and then change that number input, so let's say it's three, the third animation should play whenever we start the state machine. So let's go ahead and start it and see if that changes things. And as you can see, it does. So it's important to note that whatever our input value is before we start the state machine, that's what it will be after we start it. So let's say for example, we take a Boolean and right now it's unchecked, but if we checked it and then played the state machine, you'll see that it doesn't change the value at all. So we're, we're creating that initial starting value um, and that could also change which animation that we go into. Now remember, we're stopping the state machine to change these. But if we play the state machine and let's say we make changes to these input values, so like we could uncheck the Boolean and change the number input from three to one. And if we stop the state machine, you'll see that all of those initial values have been reset to what they were before. Now, the point of these initial values is to dictate how our state machine is going to start. So let's say, for example, we wanted a uh, menu and that menu opened and closed using a Boolean, we could tell the state machine, hey, start with the menu open or start with the menu closed, depending on uh, that Boolean value. 